thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to paint a polyanthus, which is a primrose type of flower. And while we're at it, I want to uh, answer the question why I went digital. But first let's get stuck into the painting. You can see that I've simplified the picture. I've got three flower heads instead of the several that were on the original photograph. Once the drawing was done, I followed the same system for each of the flowers. The first thing I did was draw in, was to paint in the center with a light greenish color and a gray cone. Um, it looks terribly impressive on the painting, but in Procreate, it's reasonably simple. Then it was just a matter of getting on with the petals. I used two brushes throughout the painting. One was a Jensinki inking brush and the other one was my favorite grunge brush. You can use the grunge brush to get lots of texture, so don't be afraid of it. You'll find it under textures and it's an absolutely brilliant brush. Just turn up the opacity and the size as required and you'll get some beautiful effects. Um, I also use the erase tool for tidying up around the edges and the smudge tool, but not very much in this painting. So basically it was a matter of going across each petal um, starting with the ones that are at the back of the flower, if you like, the ones that are overlapped by other petals. My method is the same for each petal and each flower. I sort of go round the edges of the petal in a white colour uh, to give it uh, some sort of shape for me to work to. I then ink in the broad part of the petal with a basic yellowy green colour. Um, once I'm happy with that, I do that with the Jensinki brush, then once that's done, I go in with this textured grunge brush and do the orange centres towards the centre of the flower. Um, these are done, I do them lightly to start off with a very light tone of orange and then I've got progressively darker as I got more confident with where the actual marks want to be wanted to be so there you have it if you'll soon uh, if you watch the rest of the petals being done you'll be pretty much an expert on it it's a lot easier than it looks um, it's just a matter of getting a feel for each petal and once you've done each petal each petal becomes part of a flower and before you know it you've got the whole thing done so it's not difficult, it's just a matter of taking your time, observing what's going on, and you'll soon get the hang of it, I'm sure. Right, now let's get down to that, that uh, question of why I went digital. Um, I didn't do it on a whim, that was for sure. Um, and in fact, I didn't do it very quickly. I've been painting for blah, most of my life, on and off. I've tried everything, watercolours, oils. I've been through the gamut. Um, like most other people, you try watercolours and you get a bit of success, but then you try oils and then you try pastels and pen and ink and then acrylics and you go round and round in circles. Each time you probably go back to the watercolours and you're sort of carrying on and on and you keep going and you keep going and... You know, you improve, but you're not getting the results you really wanted. Um, so a couple of years ago, I thought about going digital. I thought, you know, well, this will do for me. Then I checked up how much it was to buy a iPad and uh, an Apple Pencil, and I sort of went off the idea pretty quickly. Quickly, So I got some ink tents uh, blocks and started doing some paintings with ink tents, and they came out pretty good, but they still weren't what I had in my mind. So in the end... I stumped up the money, went digital, I bought myself an iPad and a pencil and you can see now the results, I haven't looked back. I'll put a link to my art website, art website at the bottom of this video and you can actually go on there and take a look at two lots of paintings, my traditional paintings and my digital paintings and bearing in mind I've only been doing this for uh, about five months you'll be able to be amazed by the difference if you have any questions or comments please fire away uh, um, don't be shy and please hit that subscribe button and i'll have another video out for you shortly thanks for watching